you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we are told to reproduce the given figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in isometric projection now when you hear the word isometric projection the first thing you have to do is to draw your isometric axis right you draw your uh, your vertical axis in this manner and you draw your x and z axis right you draw your x and z axis in this manner here so this is the first thing you are going to be doing now the next thing is to get the length right the length is given to be what from here to here and that is what that is 40 so i am going to measure 40 from zero to what to four is 40 so let me enlarge it up a little bit so we get to understand what we're doing zero to 40 here and the other one is 44 from here to here is 44 let me say the width is have uh, 44 right is here and the height from here to here is 14 right from here to here is 30 and the radius which is 20 from here to here if you add all together it will be um 64 right so the entire height is what 64 from 0 to what 64 you can see that and i'll use it to form my box i need to form my box place it on your t square you form my box and I'll come here also, draw a vertical line on this point, and I'll close it up, and I'll also close it up, and here too, scan, I'll close it up. So I brought out the box out here, right? Now the next thing is we'll start. We know that from here to here is ticking. So I am going to ticking this point here that you're seeing. That is from here to here. I'll ticking it with my meter rule. You can see that. Now the next one is. From here to here, and from here to here is not given, but we know that from this point to this point is 24. So I'm going to get the center of 40, which is 20. The center of 40 here, and that is what? 20. Right? And I'll draw a vertical line, or instead of doing that, I'll just take a vertical line upward. Since that is the center, I'll just take it this way. So from that point, since it's 24, I'll measure 12 to the left and 12 to the right, right? So it's better I use my uh, compass for that. Measure 12. You can see that. And I'll place it at the center here. I'm going to mark 12 here and also 12 here. You can see that. 12 here and 12 here. So we have there. Is that the key? 24 from here to here is what? This is 24. Right? This is 12 and so on. Now once I've done that, I'm going to take that point up. And this point up too. You can see that? 
and the height since from here to here is 14 and from here to here is 6 so when we remove 6 on 14 well, we're having 8 remaining right so that means I'll measure the 8 from this point here to show the thickness of that particular point there so I'll measure 8 here You can see that and I'll close it up because it is closed up there. So I'll close it up. And here also I'll close it up. And here too I'll close it up. And I'll close it up too. Close it up too. And I'll close it up too. Right? This is what we have here. So the next thing we have is measure from here to here, which is 14. So I'm going to measure 14 upward from here. This is 14 to this point. This is 14, 0 to 14. Right? And I'm going to thicken it. To that point, I'll take it to that point. And I'll close it up. And I'll also close it up. Right? So I'll just take this backward. First of all, with faint line, because I don't know the extent of the line, so I'll just use faint line. First of all, Is that again. Now we are told that the thickness from here to here is 14, so from here to around here is 14. So I'm going to measure 14 from this point here. Zero. This is 14 here, right? Meaning that. I am going to tick in from this point to this point here. All right? And I'll close here up. Just like it's shown diagram. From here to here is closed up, which is from here to this point. So I'll tick it up with my faint line this way and I'll take it up to my faint line this way that again and I can easily close it up too right now and I can bring this down but before I bring that down I need to remove this line to avoid distraction so I've done that so let me just bring it down a little bit just a little bit So what we'll do here is this. We are giving the radius of that curve at the top here to be what? 20. So the first one is say isometric circle. The first thing you should do is to draw to get your center. The center of 40 is what? It's 20. Right? Center of 40 is 20. That is the center point here. And I'll just rule a line on that center point this way. I can easily transfer the center point to from here to this point too. You can see that by placing it on your what on your t-square. Please don't forget that. Transfer point you need to place it on your t-square since you started with it. So I'll raise it up at that point too. Take it up. You can see that. So what I'll do is I'll now measure radius of 20 because the circle there has a radius of what? 20. I'll measure the radius of 20 on my meter rule. 0 to 20. Right? And I'll place it here. Right? Since I already I took the total distance. Right? So I'll just take it downward. So from here, I'll measure 20 down. And again here, I'm going to measure what? 20 down what I did here. So let me complete that. So I made a 20 down. So 
So I'll just bring this and also I'm going to do this. Right? You can see that. So if you look at it now, from this point to this point is equals to here and also equals to what here. Now after I've done that, I'll make it to form my box using ordinate method of construction. So I want to get my semi-elliptical shape here because circle in isometric is an ellipse, right? So the next thing I'll do is to draw my diagonal, right? The diagonal from this point to this point here. Also into the center, you can see that. Then I can take from any of this point here, either from here to touch here, and from here also to touch here. So they are meeting at this point. You can see that? So once I've done that, I'll now draw out my what? My curve. I'll do what? I'll draw out my curve. So if I place it at this point, to this point here, I'll draw my curve. Can I see that? Then I'll come to this center point here. I'll do the same thing from this point. From this point. And here. You can see that and I can now tick in this point to here as shown in the diagram so from here to here is ticking and from here to here also is also ticking you can see that now the next one is the one at the back right so I don't have to really stress myself I just have to transform transfer my points so from here I can easily transfer this point from here to here this is the point we need Right, and since I joined from here to here, meaning I'll join from here to here. You can see that? Then I'm not transfer the diagonals, the point on the diagonals. This point, I'll transfer it here, and this point, I'll transfer it here. These are the two important points I need here. And the last one that I need also here is this. So if you look at this, the line you need is this line here. So this is the line you transfer the points, not this. This is the line, you, this, is the, this is where the, the square is formed. So this point here, where this line and this line meet, you transfer it to that point. So let me transfer that. This point to this point here. So where the two line meet, where this line and this line meet, so so, so this is where they meet here, not this. So I'll now take my compass from here. I'll take it to this point, to this point, and I'll draw my arc. I'll draw my arc here. And I'll place it here. Then I transfer this point to this point. And I'll do this too. This will touch here. And just take my meter rule. I'll join from here to here. You 
can see that and I can easily bring this down. Can see that and I can close it up. So in doing that, remember that the other circle at the center here. And the radius of that circle is given to be what? 8, since the diameter is 16. So what I'll do is, I'll measure 8 on my meter rule. 0 to 8. And I'll place it here. I'll mark up, down, left, and right. And I'll use my set square to pass the points line through those points just like i did when i was in the bigger circle so this will pass through this point this two pass through this point then this one two pass here and uh, this will pass here too we're using ordinate method of construction so this is what we have here so i can easily use my compass to where they meet here i'll draw an arc here this way i'll come here too i'll do the same thing too You can see that now to get the other point here is from this point here just draw a line that will touch here and also draw a line that will touch here so they are meeting at this point here now you now take a compass you place it here and you you need to Then I'll come here too. I'll do it too. Right? So this is what we have here. So this is what we have here. We have successfully reproduced a figure as a display at the right hand side of the screen, right? So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.